Introduction In the late 8th and early 9th centuries, Europe was a tumultuous place. The Vikings were raiding along the coasts and rivers of Europe, striking fear into the hearts of the people they encountered. But despite their fearsome reputation, the Vikings were not just raiders and warriors, they were also traders, explorers, and settlers. One of the most fascinating figures of this period is Harald Klack, a Danish Viking chief who played a key role in the Christianization of Denmark. In this essay, we will explore the life of Harald Klack and his baptism at the court of Louis the Pious in 826, and examine the wider historical context of this event. Part 1, Harald Klack, a Danish Viking chief. Harald Klack was born in the late 8th century, and was the son of the Danish King Godfred. He was a member of the Gelling dynasty, which would later become one of the most important royal families in Denmark. Harald is first mentioned in historical sources in 808, when he was part of a Danish fleet that attacked the Frisian coast. He is described as a princeps, Latin for prince, which suggests that he was already an important figure in Danish society at a young age. Over the next few years, Harald continued to play an active role in Danish politics and warfare. In 810, he was one of the Danish leaders who signed a treaty with the Franks, which established the border between the two kingdoms. In 812, he led a Viking fleet that attacked the Saxons, and in 815 he was part of an unsuccessful Danish invasion of Frisia. These campaigns demonstrate that Harald was a skilled and experienced warrior, and that he was involved in the complex political and military alliances that characterized the Viking Age. In 819, Harald's father Godfred was killed in a battle against the Franks. This event marked a turning point in Harald's life, as he became embroiled in a power struggle with his brother Hamming over the Danish throne. In 826, the conflict came to a head, as Harald and Hamming fought a battle near the town of Rassenburg. Harald was defeated, and he fled to the court of Louis the Pious, the Frankish emperor. Part 2, Louis the Pious and the Carolingian Empire To understand the significance of Harold's baptism at the court of Louis the Pious, we need to examine the wider historical context of the Carolingian Empire. Louis the Pious was the son of Charlemagne, one of the most important rulers of the early medieval period. Charlemagne had united much of Western and Central Europe under his rule, and had established a powerful Christian empire that was based on military might and political alliances. After Charlemagne's death in 814, his empire was divided among his three sons. Louis the Pious inherited the eastern part of the empire, which included much of modern-day Germany, Austria, and Italy. Louis was a devout Christian, and he saw himself as a continuation of his father's legacy. He was committed to expanding the Christian faith, and he saw the conversion of the pagan Vikings as a key part of this mission. The conversion of the Vikings was a complex process that took many years. At first, the Vikings were seen as little more than heathen raiders, and the Christian rulers of Europe did little to try and convert them. But as the Vikings began to settle in Europe and establish their own kingdoms, the Christian rulers began to see them as potential allies and subjects. The conversion of the Vikings was also driven by the desire to create a more stable and unified. So guys this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. Share your views in the comments section down below don't forget to click the bell icon and thanks for watching.